Your destiny, the destiny of this industry is in your hands. No, actually not in your hands so much as in your mind. Are you going to create a prosperous future? That's really what it's about. How much do you intend to grow this year? What is going to be your next breakthrough idea? Robert B. Tucker has spent his entire professional career helping companies grow and leaders succeed. I travel around the world studying the best practices of the world's most innovative companies. Through it all, I've derived these five principles for sustaining growth through innovation. Innovation vanguard companies embrace the opportunity mindset. The key to every Tucker presentation is customization. He digs deep to understand the unique culture of your group or industry, and his message is directed to achieving results. Take a look at the stock price at P&G under Al Laffley in the nine years that he was there. When he came on board, this was a company mired in bureaucracy. They hadn't had a breakthrough idea since head and shoulders in 1963. Growth was stalled and they were losing market share. Other than that, things were pretty great. <laughs> so he starts giving out rewards for people with ideas. He embraces open innovation. He sets stretch goals for every department and function in that organization. He said, we're going to go into emerging markets like we've never been before. And he makes innovation everybody's business. He said, when I became CEO, 8,000 people over here in the R&D department. That's that's innovation. He said, today, everybody is involved in innovation. Everybody has a role to play. Fortify your idea factory. Innovation vanguard companies have a process for innovation. A lot of people think that innovation is about the dough, money, and it is. A lot of people think it's about the grow, and it certainly is that. But it's fundamentally about the flow of ideas in your organization. First innovation catalyst at a company called Borg Warner out of Chicago says, you know, at some point we looked around and we had a process for everything else around here. Why not for innovation? And ladies and gentlemen, that is the shot that's being heard around the world as more and more companies develop a systematic approach to their ideas. Robert Tucker is a thought leader in the global innovation movement. His books have been translated into 17 languages and are used by managers around the world. Invite your people to challenge assumptions. Where are the ideas going to come from in your company that are going to fuel that future? One that you might not have thought too much about are accidents. Happy accidents. The microwave oven, great example of this, just kind of fell into their lap. A guy named Percy Spencer, engineer at Raytheon Corporation standing too near a radar transmitter one morning and the candy bar in his shirt pocket begins to melt. These guys have a sense of humor. They send out for some popcorn. They put that on the radar transmitter and boom, out pops an idea. Hey, this could be a consumer product. Now they're a defense contractor, right? They got no business being in the consumer space, but they launched that sucker and they gave it the name, the radar range. Yeah, and consumers stay away in droves. <laughs> I guess not wanting to have a portable nuclear power plant right there in the kitchen. <laughs> so pay attention, ladies and gentlemen, to those happy accidents that are occurring around your operation, because they're out there. Innovative Vanguard companies collaborate deeply with their customers. They don't want to just know the present needs of customers, the unmet needs of customers. They want to get out ahead and find out what are the unarticulated needs of customers. As Steve Jobs famously said, it's not our customer's job to tell us what they want next. That's our job. And Amazon does an incredible job on this. At every meeting of Amazon.com, they've got an empty chair there. Why? Purely symbolic. They want to keep the focus solely on the customer. Jeff Bezos said this, we innovate by starting with the customer and working backwards. That becomes the touchstone for how we invent. I was in a plant tour in Gaithersburg, Maryland the other day. We got the key and looked inside that red suggestion box. What do you think we saw in there? Spider webs, uh, chewing gum wrappers, not a single idea in there. I think you got to blow up your suggestion box. I think that's so 20th century. You know, people say, well, Robert, we don't have a strategy, we don't have a process for innovation, but my door is always open. And then I always like to ask them, well, now, when was the last time somebody came through that door with an idea? And you get a lot of perplexed looks. Suppose I work for you and I'm shy, but I have an idea, man. It can make you a lot of money. Suppose every time I see you, you're just incredibly busy. We need to create more of a comprehensive process to invite ideas from everywhere, everywhere. Robert Tucker is quoted in publications ranging from USA Today to Bloomberg Businessweek. 
and he's a frequent contributor to numerous professional journals. A former adjunct professor at UCLA, Tucker is president of the Innovation Resource, a consulting firm with clients in 46 countries. Tucker has appeared on CNBC, PBS, Channel News Asia, CBS, and frequently hosts business talk shows before live audiences. <laughs> Let me tell you, Frappuccino is a good example. You know where that came from? Two barristers in Santa Monica, California. They were serving coffee and they started messing around with different concoctions and lo and behold came up with a breakthrough product. It's a great conversation. Thank you so much, all of you. Make innovation everybody's business. Not just people in R&D, not just people in the head shed, not just people in marketing, everybody. From HR, from training, from payroll, from operations, from manufacturing. Because you never know where your next breakthrough idea is going to come from. The presentation on innovation was fantastic. I, think. I was a 28-year veteran at 3M and learned a lot about innovation there. And Mr. Tucker's talk reinforces what I learned at 3M. It's a really good session. And um, yeah, looking forward to the rest of the conference. I hope it was effective, and I'm glad the NSA is trying some new things. And Robert Tucker is phenomenal. And an intelligent talk show, and was incredibly well received by our audience. He was amazing, and we thank him very much for being here.